uh, what's going to happen with the hotspot? Are you going to do an upgrade to the hotspot? Yeah, we have an interesting thing on hotspots, but you'll watch the space. We're increasing enormously the number of our hotspots, and we are also looking at uh, some metro Wi-Fi. So we, we want to push data. I mean, we have been a, a leader in the past, and we will be a leader in the future. Um, we are pushing products that will have uh, 20, 30, 40 megabit in the streets in some neighborhoods. So mm -hmm. those are some interesting projects that we're working on, but we'll release that later. Metro Wi-Fi for Bucharest? Well, there are some areas that we're looking at. Not all of, I don't think you can assume blanket coverage, but there are some <laughs> neighborhoods that you would want that would be covered. And then it becomes interesting because the products are very different. Cellular data is very different than uh, fixed data or Wi-Fi data, both cost-wise and performance-wise. The, the issue with, with Wi-Fi is, is coverage. So you don't get the, you, you know, with a 2100 network, you can use your modem everywhere. With Wi-Fi coverage, it depends which neighborhood you're in. Victor? What about Just the WiMAX or long-term long -term evolution? Uh, LTE, we're not there yet on the LTE page. Um, We'd rather let other people fight it out, as we did the decision. I mean, one of the reasons why we are, we are waiting until the last month before rolling out our 3G license is because since last August, we've been running the numbers and trying to figure out which technology is the most cost effective, mm -hmm. right? And the decision uh, as a uh, formal decision was only made at Christmas. Uh, which is why Vincenzo could only start in January <laughs> to roll out his network, which didn't give him much time, but I mean, he's been doing a fantastic job since then. But you know, the decision on, on stuff like LTE will depend on, on cost, basically. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, uh, people think that Zap has religion on technology, but our religion is on performance. And the performance has a price, so we have to s sort of offset the price and the performance depending on the technology. On, uh, on WiMAX, again, it's the, same, it's the same discussion. Right now, the, the issue with WiMAX is it's a young technology, and therefore it has a lot of problems of, of beginning technology. Uh, there's two schools of thought. One is fixed or mobility. Uh, our experience, and we have more experience than most in data, is that even though this is a mobile network and our EVDO is a mobile network, people don't walk down the street with their laptop. <laughs> they usually stop to read their email. As a result, uh, you know, do you really need all the mobility that WiMAX is, is struggling to get? Not sure. The model that we've seen in other markets on WiMAX is actually a combination of Wi-Fi and WiMAX. It'll take four or five years, if everything goes well, for laptops to have WiMAX in them. And that's going to determine the economics of it.